Okay, so today I'm going to be sowing some beetroot. These are seeds I'm going to be using. I'm going to sow them into some peat pots. And I'm also going to sow them directly into the ground at a later stage. And just to uh, see the difference with the end result. And this is a peat pot that I'm going to be using. I uh, picked up 20 of these for uh, 3 euros. And the reason I'm going to be sowing them in peat pots is because beetroot is a root crop and apparently when you try and transplant them from a regular pot they don't like that and they don't do so well. But with these ones, the peat ones, they're biodegradable so you can just plant them directly into the soil and they'll break down. Okay, so these are the beetroot seeds that I planted in the peat pots. And I'm going to keep them inside here, close to the window. And it's going to be quite warm in here. It's not going to get too cold. So hopefully they'll be okay. An update on the beetroot. Uh, I was reading up online and those peat pots that I used, I found a lot of people talking about how rubbish they were. Like, they, they take away a lot of the moisture from the soil, which I've noticed because I'm finding myself having to water them more than I thought I would. So I'm go I'm gonna grow a couple in these fiber pots, these peat-free fiber pots, just to uh, see if there's any difference. Uh, this is a slightly bigger pot as well, so for a root crop that might make a difference. There are the beetroot seeds and the planting process is going to be exactly the same as with the other pots. So now I'm going to try and sow some beetroot seeds outside directly into the soil. Now a tip I've seen online from a few people recommend that you soak your seeds uh, for a couple of hours before planting. So that's what I've done. I've soaked a couple of them to see if it makes any difference. Apparently it's supposed to speed up the germination process. So I'm going to sow the seeds across as opposed to lengthways, just like I did with the carrots. The reason for this is, as you can see, the raised bed is on a slope and this end is a lot deeper. And seen as beetroot and carrot or root crops, they have more room to grow there than the wood at that end. There's the drill, it's about 1 to 2 centimeters deep and it's about 25 centimeters away from the previous drill. So I'm going to try and place a seed every 5 centimeters or every 2 inches, however you want to measure it. I'm going to move the timber and break them in. And I'm going to tamp it down with the rake just to make sure there's contact between the seed and the soil. and then water them in. So 
so here's the beetroot seedlings that grew. These are the only three slightly healthy ones. These uh, pots have been a disaster. I think they've, they've taken away too much moisture away from the seed. They, they, they dry out so often. And those fibre pots, I tried to grow some seeds in there too, but it didn't work out at all. Uh, someone told me another way of doing it is to get some newspaper and wrap it around a jar to make kind of like a pot shape. But yeah, these have been in the pots for just over a month now and they're not going to get any better. So I'm just going to put them in the ground and we'll see what happens. Okay, so these were hardened off for the past five days, which means they were uh, left out during the day and brought back in at night time. So here's my beetroot, and I picked a few last week and left the rest in the ground to grow some more and now I'm going to pick the rest of it. So what I'm going to do is just get my hands there and then tease it out. size a bit bigger than a tennis ball and I'm gonna eat the leaves too so this one here was one of the beetroots that I started off in the uh, fiber pots and it's, it's grown quite well so the reason it's pretty big but the one behind it is not so big But next time I grow beetroot, I won't use any fibre pots or start them off inside. I'll just plant the seeds straight into the soil. I think that's worked out best for me.